What is up, viewer of the Watcher Villarx back here with this time some more season mode. This time, we are going to make a very questionable trade, a trade that will definitely not work out in our favor for the future, but for this season mode, which only will be for one season, after this season there's nothing left, this will benefit us tremendously. We're going to go into trade players, and we're going to trade Bo Horvat for a second line center. So, right here we got ourselves Bo Horvat, two years, he's got elite potential, a uh, four and a half star gold I believe is what he is, is he, f yeah, no, he's, he's green, he's actually green. So four and a half star green potential is what Bo Horvat is in this game, I modified him of course, but you know, there's really no point in having a four and a half star elite player who's 20 years of age and an 83 overall when we're really only going to be playing this season for one year. So, what I want to do here is get ourselves a second line center. And I don't mean second line center as in Brandon Sutter second line center, I'm talking second line center as in Evgeny Malkin second line center, or Ryan Kessler second line center. A second line center that could easily be a first line center on another team, but isn't good enough to overtake Henrik Sedin, and I'm not saying that Henrik Sedin is like fantastic, but we'll just see what we can work here, because I want the Sedins to play together with Patrick Kane, and I'd like our second line to consist of a centerman who we can who we can get in the trade right here for, for Bo Horvat alongside of Verbata and whoever we have on the left wing. I think right now we have, who is it, uh, um... Who do we have on our left wing? I, I I don't know. I don't know. Who's our left winger for the second line? Uh, let's see. Left wingers. Man, I forgot this. Uh, Burrows or Higgins? Yeah, sure. Burrows. All right. So right here, I've already compiled a list of centers that we could get. Centers that I'd be interested in getting for our second line. And that list starts off right here. Right here in Anaheim with Ryan Kessler. Now, this is a deal that would definitely go through. Like, you can see the trade value and everything. This is a deal that would definitely go through, especially since Kessler would be a contract dump. He's signed that big, thick and juicy $6.875 million contract, and he's 31, right? So, he's going to, exp he's, like, if, if he plays out his contract, he's going to retire in Anaheim. So, we could get Kessler. Another center we could also get is over here in Boston, David Krejci. Right here, he's got low trade value compared to Bo Horvat. He's 29 years of age, 7.25 mil, so he's a bit more expensive than Kessler. And Kessler's also got one more um, point on an overall spot. Krejci is an 88 and Kessler's an 89. So, yeah, we can do the Kessler trade. We can trade Horvat for Kessler because, you know, Kessler has been the second line center for Vancouver before. But the problem with Kessler is that I wouldn't want to have him, who is 17, playing alongside Verbata, who is also 17. I want 17 on our team, no question, but that would have to go to Verbata, and I don't want to have Kessler on the team not being 17. Like, it's very nitpicky, it's a very old-fashioned Canucks fanboy thing to say, but it's what I want. I don't want Kessler to be 18, or... 15 on the team. I want him to be 17 and he can't he can't be 17 if there's a Robata. So Kessler is ruled out. Krejci, he's a questionable name. He's a questionable name, but for sure we can get him. Next center on my list that I think we could get is Ryan O'Reilly, who is actually or Ryan O'Reilly. Uh Wait a minute. O'Reilly, where is he? Oh, he's in Buffalo. Oops. Oops, 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 M mess that up, mess that up, he's in Buffalo, so Ryan O'Reilly's an 87 overall at 24 years old, yeah, like, like, this is a good deal, this is a really good deal, 6 million dollars, 24 year old, two way forward at 87 overall, playing behind Henrik Sedin, this would be a good deal, but the problem is, I want to go deep into the playoffs with this team, and Ryan O'Reilly, you know, what kind of playoff experience does he have? He's pretty young. He's pretty young, isn't he? He's pretty young at 24 years of age, and he's played on the Colorado Avalanche. They've made, like, what, one playoff series in the past, like, how many years? And they lost in seven games to Minnesota. So, you know, Ryan O'Reilly, he's a good player, but he just doesn't have that experience as someone like Ryan Kessler would have. 
So, you know, it goes back and forth here. We can also get Krejci, who, who was on that Stanley Cup winning team with Boston, I believe. But, you know, I want to go through my options a bit more. So we got O'Reilly. So far, we got Kessler, Krejci, O'Reilly. And we can go to Calgary over here. We can, we can see that there's a Sean Monaghan available. 87 overall, 21 years of age, still on an entry-level deal. And... Sean Monaghan, he's got the same problem that Ryan O'Reilly has, and that's the experience. Monaghan's got a four and a half star elite potential. He's at 87 overall. He's a year older than Horvat, but the experience compared to Horvat really isn't there. Like, sure, he made it with the Calgary Flames in the second round of the playoffs. They beat Bo Horvat in the Canucks, and they lost to Anaheim. Of course they would, but you know. The age is really something there that, like, I want to have on our team. I want to have an aging vet who's got experience. And Monaghan and O'Reilly, they're not going to provide that. So the problem so far, Kessler, he is... he's 17. And I don't want to have 17 playing alongside Rabada, who was 17. Or having Kessler being a 15. So that's... that's gone. Kessler's gone. Krejci, he's an eh... He's really an eh. I, I can't find anything wrong with Krejci, to be honest, other than the fact that, like, you know, well, this actually would make sense because he's a playmaker. Playing alongside Verbata and Burroughs, that would be a pretty good line, to be honest. And Krejci, I honestly think Krejci's underrated. Like, he's got a first-line forward role in here, but he's playing on the second line underneath Patrice Bergeron. And, of course, you know, we could go for Bergeron, we could go for the Getzlavs, we could, we could go for the Stamkoses, but I want someone to back up Henrik Sedin here. Next on my list is Colorado Avalanche. We got ourselves Matt Duchesne. And Matt Duchesne, my goodness, this is actually one of the guys that I want to take. Like, 88 overall, 24 years of age, playmaker. Now... The thing with, um, you know, O'Reilly, I said O'Reilly wouldn't be a good fit because he doesn't have that experience. Matt Duchesne, he doesn't have that much experience either, but, you know, he's a playmaker, and he, at $6 million, that's pretty good. Puck skills are at, he's got 88 passing, which I, re I would really like playing alongside of Verbata. Obviously, Matt Duchesne, I'm biased towards Matt Duchesne. I want Matt Duchesne, but there are a few more names on here that I would like to get. One of them, right here in Florida, Nick Bugstad. Now, Bugstad, 87 overall, 23. Like, he's a two-way forward, so that's a bit of a step down from a playmaker, I guess, because we got ourselves Verbata on that line, and we also got Burroughs, who I believe is a two-way forward as well. So, I don't- I, I kind of want a playmaker, so I guess we could rule out Bugstad for now. Next name on my list is from the Montreal Canadiens, and that is Alex Galchenyuk. Now, he's an 85 overall, yeah, an 85 overall playmaker, 21 years of age. This guy would be a good fit, but I just don't see it being the best trade ever. Like, Galchenyuk is a player of, a f of the future. He's a good player right now, but he is definitely a player of the future. Drafted, like, what, third overall? Like, Galchenyuk is set for the future, and not for right now. And, and, like, you know, Montreal has had some very good playoff runs, but Galchenyuk, he's still, like, he's still 21. He's only at a $3 million contract right now. Just imagine, in, like, two years, he's gonna be signing, like, a $5, 6000000 million deal. Just you wait, if his development, um, increases as it has been, so. Um, Galchenyuk, most likely not. Next on our list, we got ourselves Kyle Turris from the Ottawa Senators, and this guy, this guy's a bit older, he's 26, 88 overall, he's a playmaker as well, and he's cheap, 3.5 million dollars, an 88 overall playmaker. Now this is somebody that I would like playing behind Henrik Sedin. Him, and probably Matt Duchesne, maybe Duchesne, I don't know, D Duchesne's got a little less experience than Kyle Turris has, but... You gotta be wary though, because Kyle Turris, although he's a good player, he's an elite player, he doesn't really have that experience in the playoffs. Like, look at Ottawa, they made the conference finals one year, what was that, like 2012, I believe? Was it 2012? I don't know. And then they lost in the first round to uh, Montreal, they almost, I, I was pulling for them to pull off the reverse sweep, but right here, the best center for our team that would be a second line center playing alongside Burroughs and Verbata, I'd say it would be a playmaker. I want a playmaker. So Kyle Turris 
or Matt Duchesne. Next on my list is from the San Jose Sharks, and that's Logan Couture. Logan Couture, my goodness, 26 over or 26 years of age, 88 overall. He's a playmaker as well, but he's a bit more expensive than Kyle Turris. And I think I would like Turris playing in a Vancouver jersey much more than Logan Couture, since, you know, Kyle Turris is from Vancouver. So, yeah. Next on my list, here's a veteran of the ice, David Backus, 89 overall. 31 year old power forward now the only problem with back is, is that he's a power forward i want a i want a playmaker playing alongside verbata we could get ourselves a paul stasny you know he's a, he's a seven million dollar contract 87 overall but let's face it i think paul stasny is overrated so we're gonna skip over his name next on my list is tyler johnson from the tampa bay lightning and freaking tyler johnson man 88 overall 25 years old He's a two-way forward. You guys know what I think about two-way forwards already. Let's go to the next name, and that is Brian Little. Brian Little's right here. 87 overall, 27 years of age. He's a playmaker as well. He's got an, an okay passing rating, I guess. His passing's actually better than Matthew Shane's. Actually, that's one thing I didn't check about. Um, Who is it? Kyle Turris. His passing rating. I want to see how good Kyle Turris' passing is. Because if you're going to be setting up Radim Verbata all day long, I want you to have a good passing rating. Alright, so 89, so it's the same as Brian Little and Matt Duchesne. Or, it's better than Matt Duchesne. You know what? From these names, Kessler, you know, he's he's 17. I don't want having another 17 on the team. And Krejci, I can't see any problems with Krejci other than I don't think he's a playmaker. O'Reilly doesn't have that much experience. Monaghan doesn't have that experience. Neither does Duchesne, Bugstad, Delchenyuk. Kyle Torres is a maybe. You could say that Kyle Torres doesn't have any experience, but he's been in the league for a while, and he's a Vancouver boy. Um, let's look at our next name, Couture. I do not like the Sharks. That is final. David Backus is a veteran, but, you know, he's a power forward. He would be a good, like, center for Verbata and Burroughs. It's just that his style of play wouldn't be the kind that would be setting up Verbata all day. Tyler Johnson is pretty good. And Little is really good too, but I think the best bet would be to trade Bo Horvat, our star of the future, fourth line center, for Kyle Turris. Will it go through? Yes, it will. Go to roster moves. All right. I uh, look. I knew this whole time that I was gonna get um, Kyle Turris or Matt Duchesne. It was one of those two that I wanted, and you know, I just wasted your whole. I just wasted your time. I just wasted your time. Oh wait, no, Bo Horvat was our, th he was our third line center, oops. I wasted your time just like, you know, just baiting you in with a whole bunch of trash talk. Just a whole bunch of bullcrap that I knew, that like, I already knew the fact I was gonna get Taurus anyways, but this is what our lineup looks like right now. Henrik, Daniel, and Kane. Taurus, Burroughs, Verbata. Higgins, Sutter, Hansen, Vey, Cannons, Brust. So Brandon Sutter, I'm sorry buddy, but just like in Pittsburgh, you're playing as the third line center. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Sure, Boston, to download your shows, like, and subscribe, last night gaming. Next game of the season is against the Edmonton Oilers, and bye.